Hey everybody, welcome to day one. I'm excited for the challenge. I'm eating my half avocado before yoga class. You know avocados are a natural electrolyte, loaded with fiber, um, a healthy fat. Okay, that's my snack. All right, a lot of you guys have been asking me, what do you eat, what do you eat? I'm gonna show you guys, I just went to the grocery store and because this challenge focuses on toxicity, toxins, I want to talk about food and how to avoid, um, you know, the bad uh, food, how to pick food, um, and that's like low uh, pesticides, toxicity, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So anyway, went to Giant, and they don't have a lot of loose produce, um, organic. So I was kind of stuck with buying this stuff in plastic containers. Not the best. Loose is the best. But... You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, organic, organic, um, spinach and crunchy. This is like a crunchy, it's called Sunny Crunch. Um, I love it. And all you have to do is really wash the, veg wash the vegetables when they come out of the plastic and you'll get the microplastics off. Okay, there's a, a list out there called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Google it, it changes every year and it'll list the, the um, you know, the, in, the um, vegetables and produce and stuff that fruit and vegetables that you shouldn't buy, um, that you need to buy organic and because they're dirty and then the clean 15 is what you don't have to buy organic. So that helps out with what do I buy organic? Do I have to buy everything organic? No, you don't. So spinach is on the list, so I buy organic. Okay, frozen fruit, I prefer that. When I do buy fresh fruit, but frozen, frozen fruit is great. These are two um, blackberries, yummy, and they're high antioxidants. And then blueberries are great. I just, you can thaw these out, eat them in a, um, just put them in a bowl and munch on them. You can put them in your smoothies. But anyway, I like frozen because it doesn't rot in the refrigerator. Okay, fresh grapes, definitely organic. They're on the dirty dozen. Tomatoes, definitely organic. They're on the dirty dozen list. And I just buy this variety pack and I put them in my salads or just eat them with hummus or something. Um, these are organic raspberries because obsessed with raspberries and they didn't have any frozen. Okay, um, bananas, you don't have to buy those organic. You can buy those because why? Any food that has this protective skin on it, you don't have to buy organic because the skin protects the food from pesticides. So that um, same goes with avocados, superfood. Okay, green beans, kale, both organic, both on the dirty dozen list. Um, frozen broccoli, you know I'm obsessed with frozen vegetables. They're so easy and they don't rot in your refrigerator. Dump these out in a pan, throw your chicken in there, your shrimp, your fish, whatever, and that's your meal, man. It's so good. So love, I'm obsessed with these. They come out and they turn out great. Okay, I love these Kodiak Power Cakes. They have, um, they're like, the thing is with, with wheat is you don't wanna buy enriched. Enriched is a bunch of crap. This is 100% whole grain wheat flour. And Kodiak has a really good reputation. I don't think it's organic, but I'm guessing that it's probably not GMO. I and mean, then they probably say that on here. I can't, don't have my glasses on right now, but uh, it's from Park City, Utah. Like how bad can it be? All right, but anyway, obsessed with these. Um, all right, lemons and limes, wonderful. You wanna check your yogurt to make sure it has active cultures in it, probiotics, okay? Um, and what else? Last thing, okay, rest of this is just stuff. Oh, okay, so little tree treats, pumpkin. I get a can of pumpkin, I mix it with a blob of it with my can, with my yogurt, and it's like a little pumpkin um, pudding. Yum, no added sugar, okay? And then finally, um, soap, bar soap, okay? A lot of you guys maybe are using body washes. Get some natural soap. Whatever you put on your body goes in your body in three seconds, so you definitely want to look at your creams and your lotions and your toothpaste and everything for uh, toxicity. Do you know if you read on a, uh, a tube of toothpaste, it says do not ingest this? <laughs> okay, so there's natural toothpaste out there like Tom's natural toothpaste um, to, to, to switch to. All right, that's my shopping list. That's pretty much what I got today. Oh, I got, you know, I got, Spit, um, chicken salad made a giant for my prepared little food. It's just, you know, I like it. It's a good protein source. So you mix and match, you mix things in, you do your best, you shop the best that you can, 
and you always think about you know how how do i lower my toxicity how do i buy the best food that i can and then you just do your best right all right so see you guys soon namaste send me questions if you have any